House Financial Services Committee grilled Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg Wednesday over the social media giant's plans to launch a cryptocurrency called Libra that would reshape the world's financial system. They also blasted Zuckerberg over Facebook's policy allowing politicians to lie in political advertisements. Michigan Congress member Rashida Tlaib said she feared far-right hate groups were using Facebook event pages to incite violence against Muslims and other minorities, including death threats directed at her office. This is New York Congress member Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez questioning Zuckerberg. One more question. In your ongoing dinner parties with far-right figures, some of who advanced the conspiracy theory that white supremacy is a hoax, did you discuss so-called social media bias against conservatives, and do you believe there is a bias? Uh, Congresswoman, um, so I don't remember everything that was in the, in, in the question. That's all right. I'll move on. Can you explain why you've named The Daily Caller, a publication white, uh, well documented with ties to white supremacists as an official fact checker for Facebook? Congresswoman, sure. We actually don't appoint the independent fact checkers. They go through an independent organization called the Independent Fact Checking Network that has a rigorous standard for who they allow to, uh, to serve as a fact checker. So... You would say that white supremacist tied uh, publications meet a rigorous standard for fact checking? Thank you. Uh, Congresswoman, I would say that we're not the one assessing that, that standard. The International Fact Checking Network is the one who is setting that standard.